Hi, my name is David from Patterns in the Cloud, creators of Woogle, the best way to upload and sync your WooCommerce products directly to Google Shopping. It's my pleasure today to show you the difference between the old way, for some of you who are already doing this with your long exports and spreadsheets and feed uploads to get products listed in your merchant center, versus the new way, which is Woogle. So let's talk about first of all what this means to have your products appear in Google Shopping and why you would go through the, all of this trouble to begin with, um, all of the trouble that Google takes away. So here we are on Google and if you're a web store like one of our clients once bid in, there's a lot of ways for you to appear in search results with your items. So if we Google one of once bidden's items, the monochromatic uh, window pane skirt, shows up when I type in the keywords that relate to once bidden's item. They show up in natural search results because she has a great website and WooCommerce store and lots of content like product images. And they also show up in this ad over to the right because she has products in her merchant center that can then be used for AdWord product listing ads, which is what you do to bid to make these results happen. Why they're so powerful is that you have the ability to display the ad with your product visually, which is a much better way to get people shopping your product within Google. What's also great about it is Google provides a shopping experience so that the product can also appear within shopping specific results and then there's actually a buying experience to click on it, learn more about the product itself, all this great product data like the sizes that are available, the price including of shipping and tax, and the ability to buy it, and other great experiences that Google are constantly rolling out, like their new mobile buying experience. So you might be asking yourself, if you've never done this before, where does this data come from? And it comes from the Google Merchant Center. Here's the same product, the monochromatic window pane skirt, that was uploaded via Woogle into OneSpitten's Merchant Center. And you can see that this product data, including the status of the product data, from it being a searchable status, to the product image, um, to the shipping and taxes that are configured in the Merchant Center, to the information that we provided to Google, or as Google says, you provided to us. Its ID, the price, sale price, so on and so forth, the availability, all of these things we're supplying to Google just because you've set them up in WooCommerce. There's no feed, no nothing other than a pure API integration between your WooCommerce store and the Google Merchant Center. To see how this works, let's take a look at another client site, Electric Frenchie, also an apparel retailer who is starting to list products in their Google Merchant Center to get ready for shopping campaigns. So here we have a product, the Sister Jane Tweed Mesh Lady Top, and if we look at it in our WooCommerce product listing, um, we can see that because Google is enabled, we have this new status over here showing with the blue icons what is enabled for Google Shopping and with the outlines what isn't. If I click directly on the Sister Jane uh, Tweed Mesh Lady Top in black, I can edit it. And from my normal WooCommerce interface, I can just scroll down and start seeing information about my product that's already there. So this is a variable product that I like to point out first. So it has attributes, in this case size, that are used to create variations of the product, in this case small, medium, and large size. Okay. In addition to that, we have now the Google Shopping tab that's added by the Google plugin. And to enable this as a product to be submitted to the Merchant Center, all I need to do is check this off, fill out any of the fields that are required for my product. So in this case, I'm a United States retailer with an apparel product, so I'm going to follow Google's requirements for that. Starting with the category, which are searchable, I can just type in any word so I can start summoning categories. I'm going to put this in the shirts and tops. The brand, in this case our brand is Sister Jane. GTIN and MPN aren't required for this brand of apparel item, but they may be uh, for the brands that you sell, like Nike and other big brands like that. For the color, black. Material, you can type in what I want. Pattern, this one has a fishnet pattern. Size, I don't actually need to tell 
the size because this is a variable product that uses size in it as an attribute and Google has logic within it to identify that you have a size attribute or you have a color attribute that you're using for variation. In this case, color isn't a variation, it's just identifying the product itself. So I go ahead and state that here. But if color was used as a variation the way that size is, I could skip it and Google's going to create those variations for me. Age group, I know that's required for my item. So adult, gender, I also know that's required. So female, uh, adult 18 plus, that's only for uh, adult restricted items. So we're not going to need to use that in this case. Last step, after I've gone through that, all I need to do is hit update. And just as easily and fast as that, I'm getting an alert saying that my product has been updated in the Google Merchant Center. If I look at it in my products list, I can easily scroll down and see the blue icon is now lit up instead of the outline. And if I move to my Google Merchant Center, I can now see without importing any type of feed or uploading anything other than what Google just did for me by clicking update in WordPress, I can now see that my item has immediately been submitted to the Google Merchant Center. I can click on that item to look at the details and I can verify that my item was indeed uploaded immediately to my Merchant Center uh, by size. Here we have size large. We see the details down here, size large in stock. Here we have size medium. Here we have size small. Every one of those product variations was immediately submitted to the Merchant Center without any other work than to fill out that one product data tab. I should point out that images take some time to be crawled by Google and then the actual product itself has to await Google's review which can take some hours to get done. So that's another great value behind Google's uh, quick ability to get a product uploaded into your center so it can go through its review period, have its image crawled, and be available sooner rather than later, and particularly without involving anything nasty like spreadsheets. Last but certainly not least, I want to point out another feature of Google's ability to sync data in real time, and that's with the availability. So if you're paying attention to stock levels um, with your shopping campaigns in any way, uh, namely trying to filter out advertising or bidding for an item that goes out of stock on your website. That information can be updated in real time because of the Google integration. We're not relying on a feed to submit that information to Google. We can update that information by syncing that data with Google, which is what's constantly going on when any data changes after you've enabled Google uh, integration with the Google plugin. So for example, this mink pink bustier in black is out of stock and if we click on that item we see that it's out of stock in a particular size. In this case size large. It says that on the attribute of the link and it shows that below in the product data. That data was synced directly when that item sold out on the website. So if you see size small we're in stock but if we go to size large we're out of stock. So when the final uh, quantity of this item was purchased on the website, that stock status changed in the, the Merchant Center just like it did in WooCommerce from in stock to out of stock. Just another great feature of real-time sync over an API integration versus the really, really cumbersome export and upload method of feed submission. My name is David. It was a pleasure doing this demo for you. If you're interested in the product, please head over to googleshopping.com to purchase or check out our quick start manual or send us a question through our contact form and get in touch with us. Thanks.